So out now on Ultra HD Steelbook from Zavi or Zavi, we don't know, but I'm going to keep on saying Zavi because I think I like that better, um, is Old Boy in 4K. So again, just like Elvira, this was previously released by Arrow. Um, about a month ago, it came out in 4K. Um, and now Zavi's releasing this in a steelbook version. So these versions uh, that were released, the discs are the same. They're 4K restorations from the original camera negative, supervised by Park Chan-wook himself. The features include newly translated English subtitles, audio commentary with Park, a commentary with Park and the cinematographer, and another commentary with Park and all of the actors. It's got deleted scenes, it's got featurettes, it's got interviews with the cast and crew, and then the second disc has a feature-length documentary called Old Days, which was actually released in 2016 as a standalone, and it's a feature-length about the making of the movie, and they've kind of put it all together here in this set. Um, and the first pressing receives an illustrated booklet. So this is the first time Old Boy's been released in 4K, the Arrow did, and now this re-release is also 4K. But there's been, obviously, so many great releases of this already um you know you had that elevator one that you've got arrow put a sick box set out before that was all three movies um in the trilogy and i remember all the discs had i don't know if it was like a different weapon on them or something it looked really nice and that elevator release was really nice also mm -hmm. there's been releases i think that was german there's been releases all over the, the world that have been really really awesome for this movie but this um is now out um I feel like the cover art here is a little goofy, to be honest. <laughs> it really like, is. it's kind of dumb. It looks like the uh, LMFAO. Like, yeah, yeah. It looks like that guy on the cover. Think about the ending of this movie and look at that cover. I know. It's like, <laughs> it's so stupid. It really is. That, that art's like really lame. So, this is another one. I think you even said it for Donnie Darko. This one's been released to death at this point. Like, there's been so many releases that have come out. We're going to give um, this the 4K King's Evil Dead Award. There's a lot, and it's a great movie, but it, you're oh, probably it good at this point. Whatever, you know, if, if you're if you're able to get anything, go out there and see some of these great box sets and get that. This is the first time it's out in 4K. I don't know about the transfer or how good it looks, but, you know, it's an excellent movie. If you've never bought it before and you want to, you're interested in getting something, I would just get the, I don't know about the Steelbook. I would just get the one that Arrow put out. The Steelbook looks like crap. It'll probably have a dent in it when you get it. So you might as well just go for the Arrow one. I will nice say, try, Zavi. Oh, hey, no, I respect Zavi's hustle. I want to know whoever has the job at Zavi to just keep an eye on Arrow's release schedule. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay, that's what we're doing next. Sure. You wait. Donnie Darko is about to get a Steelbook from tin. Zavi. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know if I'm getting this. I don't know if it's worth the double dip at this point. Maybe just wait for the 4K trilogy. I feel like yeah. if that came out, I'd be on it. But this, I don't know that I just want to buy I Old Boy that again. Elevator release that includes all three of uh, the films. Yeah. So I don't need You're good. this at all. All right. Well, it's not worth it. It's not worth your time. Nice try.